Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the TCP IP.SYS blue screen error you're getting on your Windows computer. So, if you're having potential issues with some corrupt files, this tutorial should hopefully be able to address the problem without too much of a hassle. And we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time, and then type in Troubleshoot. Best match should come back with Troubleshoot right above System Settings. Left we'll click on that. And then you want to scroll down on the right side to get to Find and Fix Other Problems, Blue Screen, Troubleshoot Errors that Cause Windows to Stop or Restart Unexpectedly. Left we'll click on that. And then left we'll click on Run the Troubleshooter. So if it doesn't find anything, you just try to close it out of here. If it does suggest anything, I would suggest following along with the on-screen prompts. If you're still experiencing a problem, I would suggest opening up the Start menu. Left click on the Start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match should say Command Prompt. Right click on it, and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, left click on Yes. Now in the elevated command line window, you want to type in NETSH space INT space IP space reset. Again, NETSH space INT space IP space reset. Hit enter. Give it a moment to run. So I would suggest restarting the computer at this time as well. Hopefully then it will have resolved the problem. If you're still having a problem, you can try opening up the Start menu, type in Device Manager. Best match should say Device Manager. Left click on that. So now you want to expand the Network Adapter section, so either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. And then you want to select your main network connection here. So it might be multiple mini ports, but we're just going to select the first one here. You can try other ones as well if you have multiple, and then just right click on it. Left click on Update Driver Software, and you want to search automatically for updated driver software. You're welcome to go online as well and see if there's manufacturer websites that have the driver software available as well, so you can manually download and install it too. So I might say the best driver for your device is already installed. Left click on close. Restart your computer and hopefully that has resolved your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.